What's up guys, Coach Shane here with Developing Prospects Baseball. Today we're gonna to be going over contact points when it comes to batting. We're gonna be talking about pitches, pitch locations, and where we're supposed to be making contact with these pitches. And not only where they're supposed to be making contact, but where these pitches are supposed to go once we actually hit these pitches. Let's jump right into it. What is a contact point? A contact point is where we're actually making contact with a pitch when it's coming from the actual pitcher himself. So I'm a lefty, so I'm going to show you examples from the left side as well as the right side. So what we're going to be talking about today is when it comes to the pitcher that's throwing to us, we, are, we have three pitches. We have a pitch that's going to be away, we have a pitch that's going to be down the middle, and we have a pitch that's going to be inside. Coach Matt, if you want to get this angle for me so they can see that. So once again, we have it set up right now, and I'll explain what this is in a second. But for me, this is my outside pitch, this is my middle pitch, and this is my inside pitch. And why I have that place there is here. When we're going to make actual contact with that outside pitch, we want to be over that baseball right here. Coach Matt, if you want to come on this side so they can see this. When we make contact with this outside pitch, if I was to set my bat down, I'm directly over that outside baseball. In regards to the baseball positioning to my body, that baseball is on top of my back hip. I'm directly in line with my back hip. And the reason I have this pitch there is I believe if we're gonna hit this ball as pure as we can, we have to make contact on that back hip. And once we make contact with that ball, we're now working through that baseball. And for me as a lefty, this baseball should go to left field. So if we move along to this middle pitch now, it's the same idea. I'm not changing anything but my hand positioning. So we go from that outside pitch to this middle pitch. Again, if I set my bat down, it's directly over that middle pitch. And now when I'm making contact to that middle pitch, this baseball should go right back up the middle. If we move on to now that inside pitch, it's the same exact thing. We go from the outside pitch to the middle pitch to the inside pitch. Where should this ball go? This ball should be hit to right field. So the reason I have this laid out here is now if we move over, let's say I'm a righty now. Coach Matt, if you wanna go on that side for me. So it's the same idea. If I'm making contact with the outside pitch, I'm making contact with that baseball on my back hip. I'm positioning myself now in the middle pitch, and then I'm positioning myself on the inside pitch. What I see a lot of hitters when they make contact, especially youth up to the high school level, is when they make contact a lot of times on this outside pitch, they're making contact of over here instead of back here. And so what's happening is instead of making contact with that outside pitch here, they're now making contact on the outside pitch out in front. And now instead of squaring it up with that barrel, which is where we want it, we're now squaring it up with the end of that bat. And that's why we get a lot of that vibration. If you guys go check out one of the other videos that we have, we talk about it with having posture. To prevent that, we need to be able to get ourselves in a good position. Let's get um, into our base. We have our shoulders over our toes and we create good posture. So going back to this, if we stay through these balls, we should be able to make contact on our back hip. And now the only thing that we're changing is where we're actually making contact in regards to the baseball. Here at Developing Prospects, we actually like to show you guys the drills and not only talk about it, but we want to show you guys the actual results that we get and what it looks like to actually do these instead of just talk. So on this first one, again, I'm setting this baseball on the outside like we talked about. So again, we have the three pitches. We have the outside, the middle, and the inside pitch. So I'm just gonna give you guys a couple of examples on what we're looking for and why we're actually doing this. So on this first one, it's set up on the outside. So again, like we talked about, this baseball is set up on the back part of my hip, my back leg. And what we're trying to do with this is I'm trying to get to this baseball, extend through it, and I'm trying to force myself to hit this baseball to left field where I should. We'll go through a couple of these. So first one, line drive to left field, and then the same thing on the second one. So now we go to the middle pitch. Like we talked about, now I'm not going to left field, but I'm trying to go back up the middle. What we're trying to work on right now too is backspin. We don't want pop-ups, we don't want ground balls, we're trying to work on the same play that this pitch is coming from.
and then we work ourselves to the inside pitch. Now with this inside pitch, it kind of varies depending on how long the actual hitter's arms are. But what I don't want out of this drill is I don't want us getting around this pitch and getting that side spin. Like we talk about on this channel, we're trying to work on getting that baseball, that back spin. So Coach Matt, if you can zoom in on this. We're trying to force ourselves to get this back spin and not that side spin. So I'm gonna show you two examples of what I mean by that. So on this first pitch I'm gonna hit, you're gonna see the baseball it's gonna have this side spin. That side spin makes that baseball dive into the ground and there's no carry on this baseball. So what we're really trying to focus on again on this inside pitch is not drifting forward but staying behind on this inside pitch and driving it to right field. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys got something out of it. If you did, please leave a like in the comment section. Turn that notification bar on. And again, if you guys did like this video, keep watching. I hope you guys enjoy the more videos that we put out.